the baptism in the Holy Spirit. Myths or truths? Find out now. Hi there, you're joining us on our journey in the 21 day fast of Daniel. This is your program, Myths or Truths about the Baptism in the Holy Spirit. In tonight's program, we'll be answering the following question. Can a person be saved without the baptism in the Holy Spirit? You'll be finding out the answer to this question after our testimony of Laurie. Let's watch together. After that, we'll be back to give you the answer. Hi, I'm here with Lori Barsena, and she's going to be sharing with us today her experience, how she received the Holy Spirit. So, Lori, thank you for joining us. So, um, let us know first, how was it before you had the Holy Spirit? Before I had the Holy Spirit, I was a person um, which is judgmental. I had uh, grudges inside of me. I have also so many complexes. Mm -hmm. Where did all those things come from, those grudges, complexes? Where, what was the root? Um, because of my childhood past. I, I was a victim of um, sexual abuse. I was bullied mm -hmm. at school, in our community as well. So I guess that, yeah, so that caused you to develop those grudges, hatred toward those people. How did that make you feel inside though? Like how did that affect you personally? And um, because of those things, I became um, low self-esteem, mm -hmm. low self-confidence, and I don't want to make friends with others because I don't trust others. Mm. Did you experience any sadness, anything out of that? Um, because of those, uh, I feel empty inside of me. Mm -hmm. And because of those emptiness, I tried to fill it in uh, with some friendships mm -hmm. and uh, relationship as well. And did those relationships, friendships help to resolve that emptiness that you felt inside? Honestly, no. Mm. Um, I became more um, depressed and uh, they introduced me um, addictions. Mm -hmm. um, I became addicted in drinking alcohol mm -hmm. and also to pornography. Mm -hmm. and how young an age did that start from, those addictions? Um, when I was 19 years old. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and then, so when all that was happening, what, 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 like, how did you start to see? Uh, how did you, of course, that didn't work, right? Yeah, you yeah. felt unhappy with that situation. So what did you do in order to try to overcome that situation moving forward? Um, because of those things, I became more miserable. Mm -hmm. um, and then my sister invited me to come here. Mm -hmm. um, first, I attend the service at 3 p.m. switch up. Mm -hmm. And I continue attending it. Um, after six months, I got uh, free mm -hmm. from addictions. And uh, because of that, I thought I already had the Holy Spirit. And uh, so you thought you had the Holy Spirit. So thought means that you didn't have. How did you know you didn't have the Holy Spirit? Um, I thought I had the Holy Spirit, but I realized that I don't have any fruits. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm still the same, mm -hmm. and I also. Um, still have this emptiness inside of me. Okay, so there was no, no actual change, right? You just yes. had an emotion in that day yes. or, and you saw some external changes in terms of the addictions and yeah. things. So then um, upon knowing that you didn't receive the Holy Spirit, so what did you do next? Um, after that, I heard the whole, uh, the 21 days past of Inyo. Mm -hmm. At first, I, first time I participated, but um, I didn't make it seriously. Mm -hmm. I just uh, seek God when I'm at church. But when I'm in my workplace, um, I still do the same. I didn't. Uh, I didn't participate through online. Mm -hmm. You weren't fully giving yourself yeah, yeah, to the not... to the purpose, and I guess nothing happened then, right? Yeah, I don't <laughs> receive the Holy Spirit. So then, how did you finally manage to receive the Holy Spirit? And then, um, another past of Daniel came. Mm -hmm. And that's the time that I I made this decision to, um, to become serious and sincerely uh, going to participate. 
because I I want uh, God, I want Jesus inside of me, and I want to become a true servant. That's why I want to receive the Holy Spirit. You didn't want to be pretending anymore. Yes. Right? Exactly. And you wanted that real happiness. So how was your, your experience that uh, second 21 days? Can you let us know like step by step? How did it go for you? What did you do? And finally, what was the result? Okay. Um, I seek God whenever I am at church, at my workplace, in the market. I always thought about God. I always um, pray. And also, I fast. And uh, I also um, cut all the distractions, mm -hmm. all the things that um, may distract me mm -hmm. from my um, from my fasting of Daniel. Mm -hmm. And also, I cut my uh, my communication from my family for a moment mm -hmm. because yes, they also yeah. part of the distractions. <laughs> Was that easy for you? Of course not. It's not easy. <laughs> I'm sure, especially the yeah. family part, right? Yeah. And then what was the final result? And after that, um, I, December, I, I, I remember it. Uh, mm -hmm. on It was May 31, mm -hmm. Friday. As I'm uh, praying and seeking about God, at the time, I, I had this assurance inside of me that I already saved. And uh, I had the... Uh, peace inside of me mm -hmm. which is I don't uh, understand before and the joy and, uh, and you understood that to be the Holy Spirit right? yes. so after that day then what changes because you said the first time when you when you saw you were baptized you saw no fruit so what was the fruit that you saw the second time the second time um, or the real time let's say <laughs> yes the real time now I read uh, the fruits that I have is the of course, the peace is mm -hmm. the first uh, love and the joy and I also participated uh, in evangelizing mm -hmm. you didn't before before no okay. and because uh, I I want to share mm. I want to share um, Jesus to others uh, I want to share also salvation mm -hmm. and that joy you understood that other people could also experience you yes. want to share that love with them as well yes. right and did you did anybody else your family like employer see changes in yourself as well um yes yeah. uh first my employer of course because uh they are with me mm -hmm. and uh people from church also mm -hmm. and my family as well because we every time we communicate mm -hmm. they they so changes on the way how i speak to them how is the difference? Like, how do you speak to them before versus how do you speak to them now? Before, I was very hot-tempered okay. when I was speaking with them. And now, no more? Now, no more. I also uh, speak with them about God. Awesome. Thank you so much for sharing with us today. And thank you very much for joining us again. Welcome back. You just witnessed the story of Laurie. And once again, this is proving the power of the Holy Spirit, helping a person to change within. There are some changes that we cannot make on our own account. That's when the Holy Spirit comes and helps us to change the inner issues that have been plaguing us. All right. We're talking about traumas a lack of self-control, a lack of patience. In short, uh, changes that need to come from above. And God wants to help you with that through the baptism in the Holy Spirit. So every night we are clarifying doubts and answering as well questions regarding the baptism in the Holy Spirit. Tonight, we will answer you the following question. Can a person be saved without the baptism in the Holy Spirit? The answer is yes, you can be saved without the baptism in the Holy Spirit. Remember the thief on the cross when Jesus was crucified. There were two thieves. One rejected and ignored the gift of salvation. On the other hand, there was one that accepted the gift of salvation. The thief on the cross was not baptized in water. He wasn't baptized in the Holy Spirit. And he simply believed 
and he got saved. And after that, shortly, he died. He was with Christ in paradise. Now, the good thing is that salvation is a free gift. Though salvation is free, it wasn't cheap because it cost the life of our Lord Jesus Christ. In return, he expects us to surrender our lives to him. And this salvation comes by grace through faith. We need to demonstrate our faith, believing in Jesus, being the Son of God, believing in this gift of salvation, being free, and believing without doubts. It's that simple, it's that easy for us to receive salvation. Now, though salvation is easy to receive, but after we receive salvation, most likely, and in most cases, we don't immediately die. We're still going to be around here on earth. How many years? Five years? Ten years? Fifteen years? And now it's our challenge to keep that gift of salvation and never to lose it. We can lose that gift if we go back into the world, if we turn back and follow the will of the flesh, our human nature. It will be very difficult to live on earth and never to commit a single sin. It will be very hard for a person never to allow their human nature take control. So God, understanding that, He gave us the Holy Spirit so that we could live in this world, but not participate in the sins of this world. And that's why the most important gift that God is willing to give us is the Holy Spirit who will accompany us and help us in our journey here on earth. Let us read here the next Bible verse. In the book of Acts chapter 1 verse 8, But you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And when we talk about power, yes, the Holy Spirit is power. Power given to us for us to totally overcome sin on a day-to-day -day basis. Because after you receive salvation, you're still going to have temptations. After you receive the free gift of eternal life, you're still going to have tribulation and trials that you need to overcome. Overcoming them alone will be very hard. But with the comfort and the power of the Holy Spirit, we will be able to overcome these temptations. And do not forget that the Lord Jesus, after He was baptized in water, He also was baptized in the Holy Spirit. And He was tempted three times in the desert and he was able to overcome the temptations because of the Holy Spirit. If the Son of God, Jesus Christ, needed and required the Holy Spirit for him to overcome his battles on earth, how much, you, how much more you and me? And to conclude, let us read here the following Bible verse. In the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 13. For if you live according to your human nature, you are going to die. But if you, by the Spirit, you put to death your sinful actions, you will live. So, this is a very clear understanding that we receive salvation whilst we may not have yet received the baptism in the Holy Spirit. But we cannot continue in the flesh. We cannot continue with our human nature. If we continue in the flesh without the baptism in the Holy Spirit, we're going to lose our salvation because sooner or later we will fall into sin. So therefore, the believer, the Christian, needs the power from the Holy Spirit to be victorious on earth, overcoming sin, 
overcoming the temptations so that they will stand firm and faithful until the last day of their life and that they will be able to enter the kingdom of heaven and remain and keep their salvation intact. All right, so this is the answer to our question today. You can be saved without the baptism in the Holy Spirit, but then after your salvation, you need the baptism in the Holy Spirit to maintain and keep your salvation intact. It's like a marriage. It's easy to get married, but it's much harder to maintain and keep that marriage. The Holy Spirit is given to us so we can keep our marriage with God intact. We will be back tomorrow again with another myth or truth about the baptism in the Holy Spirit. But before that, I want to minister to you right now the power of the Holy Spirit. Right now, here, I minister to you the power and the baptism in the Holy Spirit. The spirit of life, the spirit of power for you to overcome all trials and tribulations, all temptations here on earth, that you in the body, in the flesh, you will be led by the Spirit, you will be controlled by the Spirit, you will be moved by the Spirit, and that the Spirit will guide you in all truth, protect you, and lead you to the eternal kingdom of the Lord Jesus Christ. Receive it right now in Jesus' name. Very well. All of you are blessed. Now remain in faith. And on August 23, on the last day of the fast of Daniel, we will conclude the fast with the great day of the wedding of the Lamb. For more information, you can text us today. You can walk into the Help Center. We're open seven days a week for solitary prayer in the sanctuary. Have a very good night. God bless you abundantly. Imagine being the fountain of joy and peace and no longer needing to run from one side to another in search of momentary pleasures. This happens to those who receive the Holy Spirit. Whoever drinks of this water will thirst again. But whoever drinks of the water that I shall give him will never thirst. But the water that I shall give him will become in him a fountain of water, springing up into everlasting life. From this Sunday, the 2nd of August, to the 23rd of August, the beginning of the fast of Daniel, 21 days of sacrifice from secular information to receive the Holy Spirit.